Hello there ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade your pterodactyl server that we installed and set up last time to use SSL. Now SSL is important if you want to have this be public facing in any form whatsoever. Um, we quite simply do not want our um, passwords and just anything really not being encrypted. So this is extremely important to set up if you're going to have a public facing pterodactyl server. So, I've actually gone ahead and set one up on a VPS for this, so that I don't leak my IPs and whatnot. So, yeah. Now, the first thing we need to do is go check out the documentation. Now, if you haven't got your Pterodactyl server set up, please go check out my video from last time, or just set one up yourself. Um, and ensure you set up um, the web server without SSL. We're using Nginx in this. You can use Apache, it's roughly the same process. Um, so yeah, set it up without SSL, and then we're going to change that shortly. Um, if you're doing this, you do need to have these ports open. Port 80, port 443, port 2022, and port 8080. The 2022 and 8080 are used for the wings, and 443 is used for HTTPS traffic, and port 80 is used for HTTP traffic. Okay, so... What we need to do first is change a couple settings with the panel. And this is not anything super complicated, we just need to run one command. So let's go ahead, uh, cd slash var slash www slash pterodactyl. Um, that's actually right up here, if you want to copy that. So then we're going to run this command. Um, there we go. And then this is the domain I'm using for the publicly accessed one right now because I can't access this locally. So it's technically really unsecure to do this, but it's a randomly generated password, so I'm not super concerned. So you do need to have a domain to use this. Um, you don't technically have to um, have your own domain. You could use something like no IP, but having your own domain is the most secure way to do this. So I recommend using your own domain. Okay, so we've got this record here. Uh, it, you just need to set up an A record, um, and then point it to the IP address that your server is running on. Um, but if you want to run this behind like a Cloudflare proxy, I'll just tick that. I'll show you the um, differences as we go along. So yeah, so we're going to use terra.syntheticmediagroup.com. So we... Okay, so then on here, we do actually want to change this to https colon slash slash terra.syntheticmediagroup.com. And then we can just hit enter through the rest of this, um, and it should be good. There we go. Um, now this is gonna. Now all that changes is if the panel sends an email, um, it'll send them to HTTPS instead of HTTP, um, which is what we want. Um, so then we don't need to change anything else in here. Now we can just go to the web server configuration, and now we need to go um, create an SSL certificate. So let's first uh, apt update, let that go ahead, then we want to install certbot, do that. And as I said, uh, the reason we want to install it without SSL first is the web server has to be running to generate this certificate. Um, so we're going we're gonna to actually switch the configuration over afterward, um, but yeah, we'll get into that here. Then, we, then if we're using Nginx, we want to install um, the Nginx add-on, or if we're using Apache, we want to install the Apache add-on. Now down here, we want to copy the command relating to our server, or to our um, web server. So I'm using Nginx, so we're going to copy the Nginx one. So then here, we just want to set our domain to our synthetic.media.com. So set that to whatever you're using. Don't set it to what I'm using, because that won't work. So then we want to enter an email address to use. I'm just going to use my YouTube one. Um, um, agree. We'll go, of course go ahead and read through that. But I've already done that. So we're going to click agree. Um, yes, if you want to. Or no, if you don't. Um, they will still send you emails if your certificate's going to expire. But that's probably something you want. So I'm actually not going to enable auto renew. Since I'm not going to be using this ever after this video. But if you're going to keep using it, definitely run this. You have to run it as root. Um, but yeah. Okay. 
So now that we've got this set up, um, we do actually have a certificate given to this domain, but um, we can't use it yet because we haven't configured Nginx to use it. So let's go ahead, copy this. We want to make sure you're on the Nginx with SSL or Apache with SSL, depending on what web server you're using. You're, if you followed my tutorial, you're using Nginx. Let's go ahead, pop open the text editor. Then we want to replace everything that says domain with our domain. Media group. I really should have bought a smaller domain. <laughs> Or just use another one of my shorter ones, but I kind of don't want to use those for this video. And then down here. And we're going to copy this. Okay, so we're going to delete our current file. So sudo rm slash etsy slash nginx slash sites available slash pterodactyl.conf. Okay. Then we want to go ahead and create a new file. So we're just going to reuse that last command and replace rm with nano. Then we're going to go ahead, paste in the modified version of this that uses our domain name. So there we go. And then we can control shift V, control X, yes, and enter. Okay. So now we need to restart Apache or Nginx. You don't need to create a new sim link since you already have one if you've been using it. Oops. There we go. So we've restarted Nginx. And now this will work and it should redirect, re redirect us to HTTPS if we redo it. Now we've got one more thing to do. So let's go ahead over to our nodes, local, and we can see that it's not working anymore. So what we need to do is we need to change a couple settings. So go to settings, let's just make this bigger. Okay, so we're gonna want to set our domain if we don't already have that set. I already had it set because as I said, I had to make this public since it's a VPS. Um, we wanna use with SSL connection. And if you're running behind a Cloudflare proxy or proxy of any form, click behind a proxy. But do keep in mind if you're running behind a proxy, you'll have to ensure that those ports are accessible through that proxy. Um, it's probably just best to not do that if you don't know what you're doing. We click save, there we go. Okay, so now that we've got this updated, let's go over to configuration, copy this, and then pop this back over here. Let's go to Wings, Installing Wings, and then find where it talks about um, configuring it. Okay, oops. So now we can go sudo rm slash etsy slash pterodactyl slash config.yaml. So there we go. Let's go ahead and delete that. And now we're gonna do the same thing we did before with the Nginx, just replace rm with nano, so sudo nano slash etsy slash pterodactyl slash config.yaml. Then we're gonna paste in our new thing, control x, yes, enter. And then we need to restart wings. So let's go ahead, sudo systemctl restart wings. There we go. And now if we head back over here, go to nodes, we should see that it's back online and accessible. And we can see that's using SSL and it's all good. So I don't really have enough memory to create a server on this, but if you did, it would work just fine. So if this helped you out, uh, consider liking and subscribing. And as always, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.